vascular access is critically important to the dialysis patient because it represents what in essence is their lifeline. We recently published a paper in the Journal of Vascular Access dealing with the cumulative patency of endovascular uh, created fistulas. We were looking at two things. Uh, one is the long-term patency of, these, uh, of this type of access and patient satisfaction. Three people collaborate on this study, myself, uh, Dr. William Jennings uh, from the University of Oklahoma in Tulsa, and Terry Litchfield, who is a nationally recognized patient uh, advocate. So the gold standard for vascular access for dialysis, that's how a patient hooks up to a machine, is an AV fistula. And fistulas, while life-sustaining, have problems. So almost 50% of the surgically placed fistulas are not able to either be used without significant interventions or are abandoned prior to first use. One of the things that we're excited about with the endovascular fistula is it avoids uh, the creation of a surgical fistula. The endovascular fistula, which is also referred to as a percutaneous fistula, uh, is very easily created. It involves uh, cannulation of the vein. It can be done in a matter of 15 to 30 minutes. When the procedure is completed, it does not require uh, suturing of a surgical wound. There's only a needle puncture site uh, that can be uh, uh, covered with a, just a small adhesive bandage and the patient is ready to go home. When we approached the study, we wanted to know what do the patients say? So through focus groups and surveys, the patients that received a percutaneous, minimally invasive procedure for their fistula versus a standard surgical fistula were significantly happier, more than 90% rated their access as very good or excellent. And they liked that there was less pain, less involvement of others, and the avoidance of surgery. And then for many of the patients, particularly females, it's the body image around having scars and a, and a very, very apparent fistula in their arms. During the three years that I did use the ellipsis fistula, I didn't have to come back for any type of uh, improvements to it. It was uh, no problems during dialysis. You know, there's no lumps, there's no scarring. Most surgical fistulas would leave. This was a big thing for me. I didn't want those extra blemishes on my arm already as a dialysis patient. One looks at the results that we obtained in this study of the endovascular fistula, we found that the, uh, uh, that the cumulative patency was actually 91.6% for two years. Uh, if one compares that to what is seen with surgically created fistulas, uh, the data there shows about a 60% cumulative patency, so about a 30% difference in these two. Our experience in looking at this data uh, we have concluded that the endovascular fistula does have a definite role to play and it represents a definite uh, uh, advance in the care of the dialysis patient and in dialysis access planning and creation.